Hi everyone, it's uh, Noisy Astronomer Nicole here with your Learning Space Quickie for this week. And I'm a bit sick, so apologies for the stuffiness. Uh, I want to revisit something I talked about in an earlier episode, uh, which is these UV-sensitive beads. So they're the white beads you see on this bracelet, little makeshift bracelet I made here. Uh, if you Google UV beads, uh, you can find them in pretty much uh, various different teacher supply store. And what's cool about these is that they have a certain molecule in, in them that, um, when exposed to ultraviolet light, uh, allows it to change color. So I am sitting in my living room right now, but I can easily go outside and expose it to some ultraviolet light and show you what these guys do. So. Hopefully I don't lock myself out of the house. All right, so here we are in the sunshine and really quickly you can see these different beads. Uh, as soon as I expose them to sunlight, change color. I just keep the, the uh, regular pink ones on there for comparison. So even on a, it's a partly, partly sunny day here, uh, you can see these beads change color pretty easily. So you can use these to show that there, uh, can compare that to being inside under normal optical light, right? And then I will slowly change back to white. And so that is a good demonstration of different kinds of light, including the light that we can't necessarily see, such as ultraviolet light. You can also use these beads to test things that uh, would block ultraviolet light. So you can take it inside your car and hold it up inside the windshield and see if that'll make it change color. See if there's any uh, UV coating or protecting on that as well. If you're doing a demonstration with these on a cloudy day, I would recommend a UV LED flashlight so I have a handy flashlight here. In fact, when I did this on a previous episode, it's probably what I used in my basement office. It takes a little bit longer, so I've already changed color. Some of them, but I can shine right on them and change them back. Uh, you want to make sure you get a flashlight that works at the same wavelengths that the beads change color at. So I think it's uh, 300 to about 360 nanometers. Uh, but you should always check the manufacturer. You can see I'm shining just on this bottom part, and so those are colored, and the top ones are still white. Uh, I had a pair of sunglasses somewhere. If I, oh, so I take this other string out that I have and not spill them everywhere, hopefully, I can check out my shades here, my actual non-prescription sunglasses and take them outside and see how well my sunglasses protect me against UV, UV light. So here's a bunch that are not in the glasses for comparison. And I've got a bunch behind the glasses. Let's roll these in and take a look. Oh, that's pretty good. They, they hardly change color at all. And I just dropped a bunch on the floor. Gotta love it. So, these cheapy little sunglasses that I got. Make sure the cat doesn't get out. These cheapy little sunglasses do a pretty good job at protecting against UV light. Good for my eyes. I really like doing this little experiment. Uh, I will do it more, I will explain how I do it more elaborately, but I'll do it very simply here. Uh, you can get a bunch of small plastic bags and put beads inside them. Make sure the UV light will shine through the bags first, or else it's kind of a disappointing activity. And uh, bring this to your students or your kids or whatever group you're doing this with, adults, who knows, um, and give them several unlabeled bottles with different substances in them. Now I'll give you the spoil the surprise right here, but I use sunscreens of different um, different SPF ratings, so this is SPF 30, but I will use a bunch of different sunscreens of different SPF ratings and usually throw in some kind of hand lotion with no SPF and put them in unlabeled bottles so that you don't know, you know, so, so that only you maybe know which is which and have your students uh, do a blinded experiment. So you may know the answer. Uh, you could have someone else run the experiment who doesn't know the answer, but have them smear and different types of lotion. And this is why I put them in plastic bags. Onto the bags. 
So I'm going to get this nice and coated. And that nice and coated. I hope when you wear sunscreen, you all do such a good job keeping your skin protected. Coat up that bag with sunscreen. Ew. All right, I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, now I've grabbed a non-SPF lotion. Let's hope I can keep track of these before I go outside. <laughs> Ew, that's kind of watery. All right, so let's put some hand lotion on this guy. This does not have an SPS fa fa SPF rating. Okay, Get it good and smushy. Okay. All right. So again, if you want to do this as a real blinded experiment with, with a group of students, uh, you wouldn't tell them what's what, but I'm going to do this for demonstration purposes. All right. Here's one. Here's the other. Let's take them back outside into the ultraviolet light. And you leave them out for a few minutes. As long as you leave them out for the same amount of time. Although... Okay. So we've got diffuse ultraviolet light coming out from behind that cloud. What? You can get ultraviolet light through clouds? Yes, when your parents tell you to wear sunscreen on a cloudy day, this is a good thing. Okay. So we're sitting out here. Sitting out here. Let's take them back inside. I think you can kind of already see what's happening. I don't know if you can see so well in the video. But, run, 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 run. Okay, take it inside and compare the one on the left with the sunscreen, the one on the right with the non-sunscreen. And I think it's pretty clear you had some protection, but not complete protection. It, it turned color a little bit, but you blocked a good amount of the UV light with the sunscreen. And even with this white kind of see-through lotion, uh, that was pretty brightly colored. So uh, if you have a group of kids do this, or a group of students do this, with the different uh, unlabeled bottles, different SPF ratings on the bottles, you can have them quickly <laughs> before the color fades. Have them quickly uh, order them from lightest to darkest and changing color. And then do the reveal and see if uh, the higher SPF factor actually makes a difference and how much of a difference it makes in blocking UV light. So uh, these beads are pretty cool, pretty fun to use. Uh, again, if you get an, an LED, ultraviolet LED, uh, you can do this indoors as well as uh, running in and outside. I hope you enjoyed this learning space quickie using uh, ultraviolet beads to explore the electromagnetic spectrum.